Hey guys, we are working on lesson two today, and we are going to start with problem number three in your workbook. So lesson two, number three. The problem reads, and the area of a rectangle is 42 square centimeters. Its length is seven centimeters. So for the first part of the problem is what is the width of the rectangle? So what I'm going to do to help me figure this out is I'm actually going to use my square tiles to draw this array, okay? So it says that it's seven centimeters long, the length. So I'm gonna make seven boxes. I'm just gonna line them up the best that I can. There's five, six, and seven, okay? And I need to just keep counting and making rows of seven until I get to 42, okay? So then this would be eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And I'm going to pause this and I'm going to finish making this and then I will meet you back here in just a minute. Okay, so I have that all done and I actually went ahead and moved my um, array over a little bit so that way I have more space. So now I have 42 total tiles. So the length is seven across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I ended up with six rows, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I am going to label my array as seven, and the unit is centimeters, so I'm going to use that unit, unit, centimeters, and it was six tiles down, so I'm gonna label that as six centimeters. And I know that because seven times six equals 42, because this is just like an array, so the area is 42. And if I count all of these individual tiles, I will get to 42. So the first question, what is the width of the rectangle? The width is six centimeters. Okay, now to the second part of the problem. Charlie wants to draw a second rectangle that is the same length, but three times as wide. So I need to draw and label Charlie's second rectangle. So let me get that up, give me just a sec. Okay, so I went ahead and put the same array that I had because he wants to draw a second rectangle that's the same length, but three times as wide. So the length is still going to stay seven units wide, but I need to be, or seven units long, but I need it to be three times as wide. So right now it's six units wide. I need to make it three times as wide. So I'm actually gonna take this, whoops, let's try that again. Move this way out of the way. And I would have to paste this three times. So right now, I've made this two times as wide. So that's 12, and I would actually have to go one more. Well, instead of drawing that, because that would end up being a lot of squares, I am a smart fourth grader. And so I can think about the fact that, well, if I draw a model, so here's my first rectangle. It was seven units long and six units wide. If I make it three times as long, I'm gonna make it into three boxes. Make these as even as I can. It's a little bit wiggly today. And each of these is six. So now how long is it? Well, what is six plus six plus six? I know that that is 18 and our unit, remember, is centimeters. So my answer is that it is 18 centimeters long. And notice that you do want to draw and label the second rectangle, okay? So I'm gonna kind of just even put this to there. And I want you to draw this model that I've drawn here on the right. You do not have to draw all the individual squares. 
Okay, so if you need to keep working on this, make sure you pause the video and I'm gonna move on. The last question is, what is the perimeter of Charlie's second rectangle? So I know that the perimeter is the distance around the outside. So I'm gonna go back to my previous drawing and I know the whole side length is 18 centimeters and this side is seven. So I'm gonna just redraw that quickly down here. I'll use my shape tool so that way I get it a little bit nicer for you. I'm gonna draw it a little bit smaller so I have space to work. So we said that the side length was 18 centimeters and the top was, or the length was seven. Perimeter, remember, is the distance around the outside. And so I know this opposite side is also 18 centimeters and the top is also seven centimeters. They match their opposite side. So to find the perimeter, I just need to add these four numbers together. So I have 18, 18, seven, and seven. When I add this, I'm thinking first, well, I know seven plus seven is 14 and eight plus eight is 16. That makes it a little bit easier for me to add. So I'm adding 16 plus 14. Well, six plus four is 10. Carry my one, I have one, two, three, so 30. So I know eight plus eight plus seven plus seven is 30. So in my actual problem, I'm putting down my zero and I'm regrouping this three into the tens place. And I have three plus two, one plus one. So that is five. So the perimeter is 50 centimeters. So I will write that out. There we go. So the perimeter of his second rectangle is 50 centimeters. Okay, make sure you pause the video because again, I am moving on this time to your assignment. And today you have a relatively short assignment, but please make sure that you are drawing all of your models and showing all of your work. You just have to do numbers one and two. So numbers one and two, and we can see Dory. She says, you got a problem, buddy? Do ya, do ya, do ya? Okay guys, have a great day.